for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. For the present time, we have Three of Cups. And it's paired with Devil. The Devil card. So, Three of Cups. This is a card about reunions. This is not always a romantic union. But it could be. It's reunion in the broadest sense is like running back into or meeting up with someone. Or it could be something that's been away from you for some time. It's usually considered to be a very, very happy reunion. Very upbeat. As you can see, these three people are jumping up in the air. They've got their wine or their champagne in their hands. They're so happy that they don't even realize they're about to um, fall into a lake or a pond or whatever that is. Whatever type of water that is below them. But it's a very, very happy reunion. This card can also mean that maybe you're celebrating your own or someone that you care about. This could be a baby shower, or a new baby, a wedding, some type of happy occasion. Now, when this three, three of Cups talks about love and relationships, once again, it's about a reunion with the long lost love. So, if you're single, Pisces, and you get this Three of Cups, in your reading, the most likely interpretation is that you're going to meet a likely love soon. This person will really fit the bill of the person that you've been looking for. And if you're single, this, this will probably be a new love and not a return. And that's what the Three of Cups is showing. But it could go either way. Uh, it could be a long lost love or it could be new, but it's saying if you're single, then it's probably a new one. And if you're um, if you're just looking, or if you're with someone, then it's a return. Someone wants to come back. Or, like I said, it could be just a happy celebration. But, like I said, I'm picking up that it could go either way. If you're single or with someone, someone's coming back with this Three of Cups. Someone from the past. Okay, so this Three of Cups is with the Devil card. So, just to explain the Devil card, just remember that no matter what your situation is, you always have options to choose from. First things first. Make sure you're not letting other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion on your own, make sure you're coming to it on your own. Make sure that you came to that conclusion and no one forced it upon you. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions that you feel are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. You might start to feel that you're not in control of your life. Sometimes this could happen as a result of our own actions, but more often as a byproduct of inaction, of taking no action. So take action, take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's making a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small baby steps, they're important. So, the devil card, when it talks about loving relationships, if you're in a long-term relationship, one or both parties may have gotten to the point where they feel as though they're trapped in the situation. If you're getting this signal that this is the case, you're going to have to try to talk about it if you want to save the relationship. This card also sometimes appears when there's really nothing that can be done but to end in an, un end an unhappy relationship. We all have choices, so take steps to keep the magic alive if that's what you 
if you want if you want it to work take steps to keep it alive so for your present time coming up in April three of cups and the devil so we've got this devil card here which is pretty strong There could be some addictions that you're dealing with or some type of greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual lust. You get that with uh, this devil card, a lot of addictions or some type of addiction. But there's this reunion, this is re return of a long lost love coming in and this person that's coming back they may have addictions or you may have been codependent on this person or this was a codependent relationship so it could have been an unhealthy relationship um, but they're coming back it's going to be a happy return very happy return you're going to have a lot of reasons that you want to rejoice with this person but you have to keep in mind that uh, it may be an unhealthy reunion. It'll be happy, but if you decide to continue it, um, there may be a lot of things and situations unhealthy that you would that comes along with this happy return. Okay, so. Um, just keep that in mind because the devil card is really strong But it's going to be a very happy return You'll be glad to see them and they'll be glad to see you and you too will rejoice and celebrate but just know underneath it all is there are a lot of There's a lot of devil energy that could be hidden Okay, so we all have something if you think it's worth it, then you just you deal with it and you work it out. Because you two are going to rejoice when you see each other and celebrate. So that's what we have for the present time. Let's take a look at your person. If you're dealing with someone now, how they see you. Or it could be this person that's coming back. How they see you. They see you as a Nine of Cups and the six of swords now the nine of cups is a very very uplifting pleasant card to get in a reading it's known as the wish card it can mean that what you're hoping or dreaming about is going to be yours in a brief period of time the appearance of this card is showing happiness and good things to come also it usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life and if you're asking a yes or no type of question this card is the most powerful indicator of yes it's a strong yes when you get the nine of cups uh, your relationships they can become deeper and sweeter so this is one of the ways that they see you they see you as being bl very blessed and satisfied with this nine of cups now it's also with the six of swords now the six of swords it can depict the need for change of scenery so if you're already in a, in a relationship you might want to take your person on a trip even if it's just down the street for a picnic or something of that sort or you know strolls around the park if there's some single places out there listening and you're looking for love at this time it points to a need to get out of your routine your usual search if you want to meet someone new you're going to have to explore the six of swords like i said it's about travel movement change in where you are inwardly usually it's a change for the better uh, it could be internal or external so you may be thinking about where you want to be. So this is also how your person is seeing you like the Six of Swords.
um, they see you as, like I said, blessed and satisfied. They see you as, as, as yes with this Nine of Cups. As it's a yes. Um, they see you very positive with this Nine of Cups. But the Six of Swords, they see there's a need for some type of resolution. Um, so that things can get better. Um, so that problems can be solved. But they see that some type of transition. Some type of movement is necessary. So maybe they see you kind of stagnant right now. And um, you, they see you as, like I said, they see you as a, as a wish come true. Blessed and satisfied, but they want this connection to move. They see it as needing to move so that it could uh, get going better, so that it could um, resolve any problems or just to make it have some type of resolution. So, they want to get it going because uh, they see you as a wish that needs to get going. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Ten of Cups is another great card. It's the most uplifting card that you can get in a reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. This card is about happiness, perhaps in a more mature type of way. Either way, it's a good card. The Ten of Cups, like I said, it speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the general well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about could be your parents, siblings, children, and much more. Your pets. Also being spiritually fulfilled is a part of this picture. This is a really good card to see regardless of any question. So, wow, this is great. You got the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. That we just talked about, the Nine of Cups. That's how they see you. Now you got this Ten of Cups for how you see them. You see them as uh, you see them as a dream come true. That's what the Ten of Cups is. It's with his Will of Fortune now. The Will of Fortune it reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it's gonna pass. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective because that will pass too, like everything changes. Live in the now, count your blessings. When the uh, Wheel of Fortune talks about love and relationships, it's possible that a relationship needs to be renegotiated or possibly no longer suit your needs. This doesn't mean that um, if you're in a committed relationship that it's over. It does not mean that. What it does mean is that you need to take action to make sure that it makes it. So it's about talking about your feelings when you get this Wheel of Fortune. So this is another, the Wheel of Fortune is a, another example of how you see them. So you see them as changing. Um, they're transforming. You see them or this connection as a turning point. But you see them as, as a dream come true. So, but you also know that it's at a turning point. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. But they're your dream come true. Once again, that's how you see them. Now let's take a look at why it's happening. 
It's happening due to the Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands. The Eight of Swords is about holding yourself back because you're afraid. You're afraid of moving into the future or maybe you're weary of getting hurt. Uh, maybe afraid of getting hurt of a new situation or it could be for no reason at all. So it's about thinking through what you are afraid of because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So, this Eight of Swords is one of the reasons why it's happening. And it's with the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands, with this card, your relationships are probably going well. Your relationship probably is going well. But that's only if your partner is treating you as an equal. If your person is not, it could be time to move on after you've made your complaints and your position clear. And if you met someone new and you get this Three of Swords in a reading as you are, just know that this person, they hold you in very high regards. Very high regards. Now the Three of Wands... Um, you're probably feeling really strong with a good reason and it's about experiencing important success after you've probably been through some difficulties so this is why it's happening like I said there's success after some difficulties and it looks like the difficulties is this eight of swords one of the difficulties you or your person is stuck in their head about this connection they could be afraid of getting hurt by this connection or could be afraid of maybe of moving into the future so they're stuck in their head with this eight of swords and um, there will be success um, it's showing that there will be success with this three of wands after some difficulties so the two of you know this or you know this or they know this that this connection has a lot of potential because there's teamwork and they want it to expand but as of right now you or your person you're kind of stuck in their head as you can see in this picture this man has these swords surrounding him he's blindfolded and there's a fire behind him and he's just standing there. So there's some fear, maybe fear of commitment. But basically for this reading, it looks like there's a past person here. Someone from the past could be returning. But like I said, you got to be careful because they could have some devil. They could come with some type of devil energy here. Um, unless you're dealing with a past person, then they have the devil energy. Or maybe it's you. Pisces um, but you've got this ten of cups is how they see you uh, they see you as a wish yeah a wish come true and then you see them as the ten of cups uh, a dream come true so these are two very powerful cards everyone wants the nine of cups and the ten of cups um, but then why it's happening is because somebody's stuck in their head but um, they still want expansion they still want it to work they still want it to grow with this three of wands and they know that um, because they have some they're experiencing some difficulties like perhaps this eight of swords that um, it's going to get better and uh, this connection will be a success so there's a lot of hope here hope here hope here hope here hope here